Here we are going to solve the initial value problem. We have f prime given, and we know that the f of 1 is supposed to equal 8. So we need to find the original function that meets these two things. So given f prime and working back to f of x means start by taking the antiderivative. Instead of writing it as 1 over x squared, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite it as x to the negative 2 to pull it out of the denominator as a negative exponent. And then as x to the 1 half to get it out from under the square root. And then we have plus 2 dx. Now I'm ready to actually take the antiderivative of each piece. So I'm going to add 1 and divide by it and put it as my exponent. So negative 2 plus 1, I'm going to have 1 over negative 1, x to the negative 1. Plus, I'm going to have to do some side work here. We have some fractions to work with. So my old power was 1 half, and we have to add 1 to that which is going to give us 1 plus 2 halves, which is 3 halves. So our antiderivative would be 1 over 3 halves, x to the 3 halves. And we know we don't want to ever leave complex fractions, so we're going to have to flip that. 1 divided by 3 over 2 is the same thing as 2 over 3. 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. Or you could just use your calculator. 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, and 1 divided by 3 halves, your calculator does know that that's 2 thirds. I personally like to write my new power, and when I see it's a fraction, I just flip it out front. So my new power is 3 halves, and I, instead of writing 1 over 3 halves, I'm going to flip it right away to be 2 thirds. Then the antiderivative of 2 is a constant, so it's going to be that constant times x plus c. So there's my first step. My second step is going to be to figure out what that c is. So I'm going to plug in f of 1 and figure out what I need c to be to get out 8. So first of all, for I have 1 divided by negative 1, which is going to be negative 1. And then we have x is 1 to the negative 1 plus 2 thirds. And then we have x is 1 to the 3 halves plus 2 times 1 plus c has to equal 8. So 1 to any power is always 1. So 1 to the negative 1 is going to stay 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 to the 3 halves is going to stay 1 times 2 thirds is going to be 1, 2 thirds times 1, which is 2 thirds. Plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus c equals 8. I'm going to move the whole numbers over first and then work with the fraction. So I'm going to add 1 and subtract 2 just to get those moved over. There's so much, so many options of how to work out this algebra. I just like to save the fractions for last. So I have 2 thirds plus c equals 8 plus 1 is 9 minus 2 is going to give us 7. So then lastly, I'm going to work with this fraction here. So I'm going to subtract 2 thirds from both sides. So C is going to be, I need to write 7 as thirds. So 7 times 3 is going to be 21 over 3. So 7 is the same thing as 21 thirds minus 2 thirds is going to give us 19 thirds. And you can definitely use a calculator for all of this if you need to. But 7 times 3 is 21 thirds, minus 2 thirds gives us 19 thirds. And my last step is to just write my final answer, which is going to be combining these two pieces. So f of x was negative x to the negative 1 plus 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus 2x plus 19 thirds. There's my final function that we just found has a derivative of what was given and has the point one comma eight on it and you can always take the derivative to check that we got the antiderivative correct and plug in one on your calculator to this and make sure the y value you get out is eight if you need to check these